Hi, my name is Joanne Fajardo. I am one of the couples uh, volunteering for the youth ministry, and I also uh, play f the keyboards for the worship team. And uh, this is my story. I grew up in a very strict, conservative Christian family. My father was uh, one a, a person who really had high standards in everything, but especially in academics. And um, he would push us to excel in, in everything that we did, especially in our studies. I knew that probably he was just um, concerned about us. He had good intentions. My father was not very affectionate. I grew up not being able to communicate with him when it came to the emotional level. That kind of affected my way of how I started to develop my own con concept of who God is. Uh, I really wanted to pursue a career in music instead, but my father wouldn't let me. So, um, despite him, I took up theology. I went into a Bible college that was also very conservative, very strict, um, and just like the expression says, it was kind of like out of the frying pan and into the fire. This Bible college that I went to had some kind of a merit and demerit system. I began to see God as a really cruel taskmaster. And um, I began to live a Christian life of have-tos. Like I had to do this because I have to. I have to read the Bible because I have to. But everything was just because I had to. Even with all those crazy notions and preconceived things I had ideas about God, He was gracious enough to lead me to a church. Uh, at about that time too, I was doing training for um, a counseling program called SHAME by Youth with a Mission. and. That class required us to do some homework. We were encouraged to write down our thoughts or if you can express it in an, any other way, you can. So I did it through drawings and at the time I was not doing anything for, I thought I wasn't doing anything for God or doing anything in the church because I was sick. So this was my drawing of myself. This is me. I'm sad. And I have a peso sign there that is the value is going down. <laughs> That's how I viewed myself, that I was really, you know, getting worthless. And then there was another question there about how you viewed God. And for the first time, I was challenged. I was being challenged about how I perceived God. So this was my drawing for that question. So as you can see that I have a picture here of a very big person uh, with a very angry face <laughs> and he's holding a list and then you can see me, a very small person, me, a sad one and I think I was thinking that I would never do the grade. I was failing. So for the first time I began to see that I had a very distorted view of who God is even after having served him for a very long time. So uh, there were some verses there in that lesson that we had to go through. And one of those verses was in Romans chapter 5, verse 8. And in that verse, <clears throat> it says that God commendeth or demonstrates his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I know that verse. I have read that verse. I have taught that verse. I have said it a lot of times, but for the first time, God just allowed me to see something else. At that point, probably, I was in my lowest, lowest point in my life. And uh, I drew that, and this was my drawing of that. So you can see that I'm in a hole. And I said, at that point, at my lowest, there is really nothing else I can do to make God love me less. And there is also nothing more I can do to make God love me more.
there was another verse in there that uh, I had to read and go through, and it's the verse in Zephaniah chapter 317, which says, The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but he will rejoice over you with singing. I was really captured by that word, he, uh, delight, because delighting means that he finds great happiness and he's just so happy with me and he takes pleasure in me. For me to realize that God was feeling that way about me was just very, very powerful. Again, I made a drawing for that and and my drawing for that is this one and you can see that that's me my face is smiling now and uh, the arrows on the sides tells me that he's jumping up and down <laughs> a very different picture from the first one the last uh, part of that processing time was when I kind of heard God ask me if I want to remember and I asked uh, remember what? <laughs> Your, your dad, your father. And I began to remember how it was, it was when I was a little girl that he would carry me in his arms. I will rem remember a scene from the beach where I was riding on his shoulders. And I would remember the times when he would come from work, come home from work and he had this smiling happy face and his arms were extended at the time I was healed and of my relationship with my dad the last part of that processing time was um, for me to draw another picture of how I saw myself this was my first drawing remember this so that's my first drawing and um, this is my drawing and it's like always being safe and being loved I stopped from doing a, a have to Christianity now I live my life and I do my Christian walk and my service because I love to I always come back to this that I belong to God and that I am his daughter first before I am a servant that is really liberating